Warnings against stacking washers can be found throughout our written procedures and training materials. The purpose of this video is to give a detailed explanation about the issues and problems that can occur when multiple washers are used to set up and execute a bolt test. When testing with a bolt tension measuring device like the Skidmore, it is important that the fastener assembly being tested has the appropriate amount of thread stick out. Most specifications state that the end of the bolt be at least flush with the nut to be considered properly engaged. Exposing threads beyond flush should be done with caution. The reason for this is that each additional exposed thread increases the chance of bringing the nut into contact with the bolt shank. Because of this, the industry standard is to keep the number of exposed threads to three or less. Because bolts vary in length considerably, standard Skidmore adapters may not provide the correct amount of thread stick out, often leaving too many threads exposed. To resolve this issue, hardened spacers such as this one can be added to a testing solution to achieve the correct amount of exposed threads. This accurately simulates proper fastener installation. Even unusually long bolts can be properly tested using spacers. A standard Skidmore spacer kit includes five different spacer lengths, and it is crucial not to use any other spacing solutions, such as unknown metal types or extra washers. Adding extra washers to achieve correct thread engagement is a common mistake made in the field, which often affects tension measurement. This can cause incorrect test results, which can fail good bolts or cause good tightening solutions to be improperly questioned. Every additional washer added to a fastener assembly is an unneeded variable that may affect test results. This is because small inconsistencies in each washer are multiplied when several washers are stacked together and subjected to thousands of pounds of force. These issues are further compounded when washers are gathered from a job site and can't be trusted to be in good condition or undamaged. Now that we have gone over how washers can affect a Skidmore test, let's take a look at an example. The following is a turn of nut pre-installation verification test, done first with an authentic Skidmore spacer kit, then done again with a stack of washers similar to what might be found at a job site. So this demonstration has shown that adding a stack of washers to a fastener assembly has reduced the amount of tension developed in the bolt being tested. Stacked washers can also affect the test results of other installation methods and tools. We hope this video has shown why adding washers to a fastener assembly other than what is required for the actual installation can affect the accuracy of a Skidmore bolt test. This is why we recommend only hardened steel spacers or custom spacer bushings be used. 
For more information, please visit our site, www.skidmore-training.com.